Caddis Maximus again, this time with a review of the Power Build Super Short High Access Compact 3 8 inch Drive 12 point socket set. These have been around for some time, the nature of uh, extra short well compact sockets, but they seem to have gained popularity and there's quite a few different manufacturers who are coming out with these. And these are power belts that I actually did find at uh, O'Reilly's Auto Parts. They are pretty well built, although you can tell that what they've done is taken like a normal socket and kind of ground it down. And I'll show you here, you can really see how sharp the edges are on these sockets. And on a couple, like this one, they did manage to actually get the uh, deburring on the inside of the socket or the outside edge. But many of them, it just didn't work out. And so they really do look like they've just been ground down flat or extra short and then chrome plated. So that'd be the one comment. Otherwise, they seem to be, excuse me, seem to be pretty well made. And get a nice look at all of them here. One other thing to note is this really tiny uh, quarter inch that you can see it's kind of odd has really extra thick walls. I thought that was kind of odd. But these things were pretty cheap. I think I got the whole set, both sets for about uh, 40 bucks or something like that. And they're both the same nine piece sets. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at one. I think we'll do the 14 millimeter here. They do uh, most things pretty whoop, properly. We have a properly fluted drive side. We can see, if we can see in there, how about this way? Yeah, you can see the little divots to hold in the ratchet. Um, pretty much all sockets will have those divots, although occasionally some don't. And then here's the drive side. It's properly fluted, but it's just interesting. Now, when you look closely, it does almost look like they're a little shorter on the drive end, like they have been forged. It's just so odd that they didn't get the chamfers proper on them. Now, if we can compare this to a normal 3.8 socket here, we can see that it's significantly shorter by about a third. It's about a third shorter. So, if we were to compare how much, and that does help. That helps quite a bit. Also, uh, it's interesting these feel more solid because they're shorter. There's even less deflection happening and they feel really connected to the fasteners when you use them and I did want to point that out just because the the point of force the ratchet anvil is closer to the head of the fastener now if we were to put this on a normal ratchet here and compare it to say the Harbor Freight pass-through compact ratchet set we can see that on a normal ratchet it brings it down to almost the same size as the high access uh, pass-through socket set so that's kind of interesting um, you can get these sockets and have put them on a nice strong ratchet and get almost as many places as that Pittsburgh or any compact or high access pass-through socket set now one thing that is real interesting is if we take these and this is that Harbor Freight dual drive wrench with the high access and if we put it on there we can now see that with the Harbor Freight, with the short, the high access sockets on this particular wrench, that now we have something that's even shorter than the pass through socket set. And so I think that's kind of amusing too. Um, even though this is a pass through, these are supposed to be really compact and it's surprising that you can get these sockets and that wrench and have something even smaller. And if we compare this to a normal ratchet, and a standard length socket, we can see that we're getting to almost half the height. Uh, that's just about half the height of the normal socket. And if you include the switch on the back, because the switch, most switches on mo a lot of ratchets protrude where they're flat on this, it would be half the height. And that really is high access. That means that this wrench can get into a place that just a 3 8 inch drive socket can fit into and I really like that it's always nice to where you can have a place where even you uh, can just barely just get the socket by itself on a normal socket and with this you can say oh I can get, if I can get a normal socket on there then I can get this wrench in there and at least break the bolt free and unthread it a little bit and then get it the rest of the way out by hand and so that's why I really recommend this setup those compact sockets and this Harbor Freight um, dual drive ratchet which I have reviewed uh, really gives you a very high access 
um, 3H drive, and it's really been handy, especially on like 90s Mitsubishi timing belts where there's just no space, no space for your hands and arms between the frame and the engine. Uh, these things have turned out, this setup has been just absolutely amazing. So anyway, I just wanted to bring these sockets to your guys' attention and say thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Caddis Maximus out.